Yo, yo, yo. What's up, YouTube? This is the Big Bad Wheezy, the Big Bad Wolf, a.k.a. Matt Grinding My Gears the Rapper. I'm going to grind a little bit. This is my channel. So, I can cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. But, you know, normally, for people that don't see my videos, I advocate reading. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to move out of, out of the way. Because as you can see, what's in front of me is a book already. Now... The reason why I'm doing this, I wasn't going to do it right away or this and that. I was going to wait to talk about this book. But I got a lot of people on YouTube sending me messages and writing dumb stuff on my comment wall. Big Weezy don't like to say that he's smarter than people. Because most of the time it's not even relevant. But when it is though, I'm going to have to say something about it. Now there's a lot of people who... In this world, definitely in America, and on these boards and on YouTube, to think they know what being an American is, what an American is, and that America is a shining hope of example of some crap, but it ain't. Now, yes, you can see. Let me move out of the way real quick. This book is called "The War Against the Weak: Euthanetics and American Campaign to Create a Master Race." This book talking about how America, we know what they did to the Indians, we know what they did to the black folks, but it goes way deeper than that. This book talks about a lot of stuff that so-called America does to its own people and what they have done and the experiments they are still doing. If you start, if you pay attention to the book, you will, you'll understand that. But I'm not going to tell you exactly what the book is about. You, you know, I just gave you, I just summarized did for you but you can read the incidents and seeing the actual accounts of what they've done but this is the america people are defending i do not defend this america i defend the america for the regular folks because you know the america that we have today is for corporate america and anybody that defends it you're a fucking fool unless you make over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars this america is not for you it has never helped you get anything and don't say america's gave you a job it did not the corporate america gave you the damn job to work for them for pennies on the dollar and they making loot off of you think about this if you making fifty thousand dollars a year how much are they truly making off of you remember everything's a 50 percent markup this just doesn't go with retail so what i'm saying you got to use your common sense it just does not go with retail same thing with people this is why obama is letting the mexicans in and the immigrants in our country because they're going to drop the wages down and they're going to be the new americans and all the rest of the americans their ass ain't gonna have no jobs because they ain't gonna want to work for low wages but people are defending this damn country you dumb as hell you don't know what your country is and what it stands for what it stood for from the beginning this country right here that we are on remember that the first thing that we've ever did was slaughter indians we wanted to create a new world and the new world was said that everybody was free. No, every white person was free and everybody that came from Europe was free. The Indians weren't free. The black people weren't free. The Chinese people weren't free because, you know, they had Chinese people working on the railroads and everything else back then. And they treated them like shit and they died and they just threw them in the mines, left them dying in, in holes and everything else. But you don't know your history about your so-called America. This so-called America that we have is not for the people. This is why I have this I guess my channel, this blog, the way I talk, because I don't have power. I don't have money. This is my only way to influence America is try to get you to think and try to teach and try to open your eyes to what's really going on. If I had more money, then I would do something different. If I had more power, I would do something different. But I don't have any of those. I'm going to use my only influence. I'm going to talk shit on the channel, on YouTube. Maybe I can make a little bit of money off of this because... I don't expect me to make a lot, but maybe I can make a little money off of this and actually do some change and do some hope because I do change and I do hope real hope and real change. I have that. I'm preaching that. I'm talking about it. Look, as you can see, there's a book right here. I'm trying to tell you to go read it. And even if you don't read, you can go get a text for the text to speech application for the Google. I don't know if Apple got it or not because I don't buy Apple products because they are the ones that's trying to make books harder to get and make them more expensive. You should always be afraid of somebody that's trying to stop the flow of information. Always be afraid of someone trying to stop the flow of information. And Apple has done that. And if you don't believe me, look it up. They have been fined and millions of dollars by the United States government for trying to freaking hoard books and control the flow of information and price fixing on information. That is the most evil thing 
one of the most evil things that you can do. I will never support anything that Apple has ever done, but that's on you to do this. But that's what I'm saying. I'm here to open your eyes and tell you things that you might not know about. This is my only avenue and advocate of the way I can do it. And it's the way I'm going to do it. And I'm going to talk shit and I'm going to curse. And all y'all dumb motherfuckers out here to keep on talking dumb shit. Fuck y'all. Later, YouTube.